fantastic introduction. I gotta tell you, with this introduction, I gotta start off by saying, I was thinking, you know, I realized that I'm probably the worst person to be here. And I'm gonna give you five reasons why I'm not qualified to be the speaker here today. So let me start off by saying, here are my five reasons. Four months into my first year of university, these were my marks. <laughs> Take a look. I hope this is not you if you're in your first year. 50, 60, 44, 55, 37. It's ingrained in my mind. First year, December of 2000. That's when I was my first year, yeah. Um, that was, those were my marks. I thought I was in trouble. I thought life was over. I thought, what am I going to do? I have no hope. You know, my grandmother, my mother, they're all saying, I, you know what, what are you doing? You're failing. You're, I'm failing out of school. In fact, after that, second year university comes by. They did a statistical project, a friend of stats project on uh, basically my cohort and found that I attended exactly, on average, three hours a week. <laughs> and there was even one week where I attended zero classes. What was I doing? That summarizes my first two years of university. Now, that might not be you. You might be in that situation, but some people, for most part, that might not be you. You might have survived already. But just because you've survived so far, it doesn't mean that you'll keep on surviving. There are challenges ahead and you're gonna have to be prepared for that. <laughs> now, how did it come, like what happened to you? What happened to you? I don't get it. Like, someone who's a prof right now, teaching, doing well in school, what happened back then? Well, to start off, I was into girls. <laughs> I was chasing girls like crazy. Hey, there's a lot of guys in here, I'm sure you're all thinking the same thing. But that's what I was doing in my first year at university. I was chasing girls. And you know what, when you start doing that, your priorities go out of whack and it goes out of order, so it wasn't studying first, it was girls first. <laughs> and then, drinking comes along. Chums start taking me out to the social nights, 24 hour pool parties, and what else did Starcraft, PC bombs, and you know what happens after all that? <coughs> this is what I look like in the morning. You know? And, what did I do in the library? I never went to the library to I never went to the library to study, I go to the library to socialize. Wait a minute, but that's what a lot of students do. I go to, go into the library to socialize and, you know, who cares about study? That was me in the first two years of my university. I had no hope. There was nothing that I could do, and there was nothing, and I was in trouble. And I was left thinking, am I going to leave university with regrets? That's what you want to ask. Do you want to leave university with regrets? Or do you want to leave university towards a path towards success? And that's what you have to consider. Because at that time, in my second year of university, I was thinking, if I don't do anything, if I don't change my life, I'm going to leave university with lots of regret. So today, I'm going to tell you four things in the next 10 minutes that you can do to actually change something. Something that you can do tangible things that you can do to make sure that you prepare yourself better for your career. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about is popping the bubble. We all live in this bubble. Now, for me, back then, I hung out with the same group of friends, did the same routine, I didn't get myself out there. Everybody has your own, you, everyone has their own bubble. So think about your bubble. Who are your friends? What do you do every day? What I'm going to ask you to do is I want you to pop that bubble. Because what you need to do is pop that bubble. Because university offers you so many opportunities. University offers you anything and everything. There's hundreds of different clubs that you can join. There's a lot of opportunities for volunteering. There's job opportunities on campus. And you can do all of this. But except we're so confined in this bubble that we don't get ourselves out there. Now, you may think that I'm a decent speaker. Well, I, I should be. I'm teaching class. I'm teaching students. I should be. But back when I was in my first year, I stuttered a lot. I made incoherent sentences. Like, I didn't know how to speak. I was grammatically all wrong. Like, everything was just out of whack. 
But I decided in my third year university that I was going to pop my bubble. And I joined the debate club. The nerdiest thing that you can do on school college. <laughs> but I did it. Despite the, despite the stereotype, despite the fact that no other friend wanted to join me in this debate club, I wanted to take a challenge and help myself become a better public speaker and debate and you know increase my arguing logical skills all that blah 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 comes with debate club. and I did and here where and I think I still struggle sometimes but overall I think I became more confident in speaking in front of people I became more I can talk more clearly I can talk loudly so these are some of the skills that I learned now, I'm not telling you that you should all go and join this debate club, but I want you to think about this one other activity that you can do outside your bubble right now that could improve you, that could help you become a better person, develop you in some way. And if you think you're too busy, believe me, you can cut down on your Facebook stalking time, and I know you all do it. <laughs> you can cut down on your uh, library socializing time and actually do something that's going to develop you as a person. Because I'll tell you, when you get out there, when you get out there in the corporate world, everyone will tell you, you're more busy. You're so much more, you're so much, you're busier than ever. And you don't have time to do these extracurricular activities. So do them right now. Pop your bubble and I challenge you to pick at least one thing, one thing next year, mostly for most of the people, academic year, to actually do something and help you uh, to become a better person in that way. Now speaking of that, I want everyone to start thinking about how to build your resume. I'm going to give you a scenario. Two graduates coming out of university, okay? Person A has excellent marks, A+, plus, the top student in the class. Person B only has a B, uh, only has a B average, decent student, but three years summers intern experience, president of the marketing club, extensive volunteer experience, and shown evidence throughout university in event planning. Both candidates are applying for a marketing consultant position at some X company. Who's going to get hired? 